Good morning everyone. I have been looking for a way to make my own toothpaste and I found lots of uh, YouTube videos where you can make your own toothpaste and this one I'm going to make, I'm going to make it a little adjustment because I'm not going to use baking soda. I'm going to use a substitute called Energy and it'll take a little bit more than this. Hi Lisa. So I'm going to make it in front of you and I'm going to put it in this container because I don't have a jar to put it into. So first of all I'm going to use four tablespoons of coconut oil. As you can see, this is organic and it's, re and it's uh, refined. Hi, Tanisha. Good to see you. Welcome. Oh, you make charcoal toothpaste? I've heard that you can, but I don't have any charcoal. So I don't know how that would be. I saw somebody have that and I thought, oh, that looks horrible. You know, but, you know, to each his own. You know, you, you make what you make and I'll make what I make. And, and uh, now there's two tablespoons and then I'm going to do two more. This is just a brand new can I just opened up. Welcome to everybody coming on. Share this out. Oops, trying to put the wrong lid on here. there put this back on there now I'm going to use um, I'll take this off for a second four tablespoons four tablespoons of the because you have to double it since they asked for two tablespoons in the recipe I have to put four of this to double it so this is a substitute this is all vegan and it's oil free dairy free oh, I'm making a little mess on my counter but I always make messes Welcome to those coming on. If I don't, if I don't talk to you right away, it's because I'm busy here. Hi, Erlene. I see you're here. Let me close this up. Clean my cupboard. And then I have, and then I have some um, peppermint oil. This is an essential oil. I had some in the, at home. I had some previously, to, but I just got back from the store, um, so, and I thought I would, I would. Uh, Use peppermint oil. I also bought some eucalyptus. This takes about 10, 10 different drops. So let me put some in here. Oh. Comes out slow. I guess that's good. I'm going to take this off. I don't know if this will come off or not. I'm not peppermint or not. It's supposed to come out faster than that, but it's brand new, so I can just, I'm just going to, I'll shake it out. There, I'll just shake it out. Hi to those coming in, and if I don't see your comments, it's because I'm just, I'm busy here. So, I'm going to try to stir this around, and it's supposed to be like a paste, you know, like a toothpaste, and we'll see how it looks. I may have to add a little bit more peppermint oil. As you, if you want it to be be a consistency that you can put it on your toothbrush. And like I said, I'm going to put it in this container because I don't have any smaller containers to use. Making a mess again. No, I'm not using baking soda. I'm not using baking soda. I'm not. I'm using a substitute. You didn't see what I put in here. I am using this. This is a substitute. This is vegan free, oil free, dairy free. I'm not using, uh, I knew somebody would come in and say I'm not supposed to use baking soda. I know enough not to use it. I'm not using it. I may have to put maybe just a tad bit of water in here to kind of make this a, the right consistency. Yeah, I'll just add a little water. It doesn't call for it, but in order to make it look like toothpaste, you're going to have to add something. My dog's down here trying to look to see if I'm going to drop something for her. Yeah, putting that water in got it a little bit more consistency because you wanted a paste that it's not going to fall off your toothbrush. And I looked at the benefits of, a, of a coconut oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. I decided to do 
vegan toothpaste because I, you know, I looked at all the toothpaste yesterday at the store, and they have so many chemicals in them that they're not fit to eat. Here, and they're not fit to use. And I want to be able to do something my my make my make my own. That way, I I don't uh, have to worry. I know what's in it, and I can make it when I need it. And as you can see, there it is. There, yeah. I, I bought a, a lot of the stuff I have, the, the energy I bought on Amazon. And I just bought this, this peppermint oil. And I also bought a eucalyptus oil today, too. Wow, this peppermint oil, I can really smell it. But as you can see, it's a fine paste. That's what you want, something I can put on my toothbrush. And that's all it is. It's just going to be for something to, to brush my teeth with. I'm not eating it or anything like that. The peppermint oil, the essential oils are strong, and it doesn't take very much. But there you can see what it looks like. It looks just like it's supposed to. It looks like a paste that it's supposed to look like. I suggest all of you try to figure out how to make your own, own products. I'm what Next thing I'm going to do, and I'm looking for a recipe today on how to make deodorant, and I'll do that one tomorrow. Deodorant and shampoo. Make your own, make your own products. Deodorant and shampoo. You'd be a lot better off because you know what's in it and <clears throat> uh, you know and you start buying oh you, you used to make it but you stopped um, oh thank you thank you you know when you start thinking about how much you spend on toothpaste per year or you spend on shampoo or you spend on deodorant per year it adds up it mounts up and sometimes when you go to the store, maybe just for one thing, you'll end up buying something else. And then your, your grocery bill may be $100, $200. And you're not meaning to be. So if you make your own, you won't ha you'll have it on hand. You won't have to worry about it. All I do is just dip my toothbrush in here and put it and brush my teeth with. Oh, yes, I should. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to look for that, Tanisha. Although I did buy 7th Generation. I've seen Stacy. Uh, use that seventh generation is like a vegan um you know it, it's no harmful chemicals it's all natural so i've got seventh generation um soap for the for the washing machine so but uh i basically want to do the uh deodorant and i want to do the toothpaste and i don't know i may do i may also do soap where you wash your know, body wash too although i have been fighting uh body wash it's you know natural you know, whether it's coconut oil or whatever it is, because what I'm using right now is coconut oil body wash. And that's what I'm looking for is things like that to use. But this, I just bought this, and this this is quite expensive, about $5.98 at the store, the peppermint essential oil. And like I said, this I bought on Amazon. And this I bought it at Walmart not too long ago. Nice big uh, can of it. And it's going to go a long ways. Coconut oil, you know there's a lot of good benefits of coconut oil. It's amazing what you can do with coconut oil, how good, how healthy it is for you. And I talked to a lady yesterday in the store that she uses coconut oil for about everything. She doesn't use anything else but coconut oil. I mean, there's so many benefits of it. And, you know, and you can give it to your animals. It's not going to hurt them one bit. I've given it to my dogs. They love coconut oil. It's not going to harm them. Put a little bit on their dog food. You know, people wash their hair with it even. You know, I'm supposed it probably would make your hair soft. I don't know. I've never tried it. But... You know, there's there's so many benefits to, to making your your own products with, with things that you know are natural, that are not harmful, like the coconut oil. It's not harmful at all. And baking soda is. That's why when somebody had I saw them said baking soda is not good. That's why I mentioned uh, this is what I use in place of the baking soda. I'm trying it. I think it'll work okay because we need to stay away from your baking soda because it's got aluminum. Now, if you can find baking soda, the actual baking soda that doesn't have aluminum in it, you're fine. But I don't know if there is such a thing. So when I saw, when I saw this on Amazon, I figured this is what I'm going to get because this is um, it's gluten, wheat-free, dairy-free, yeast, egg, soy, nut-free, and it's sodium-free, everything. So it doesn't have every, anything in it that the baking soda has in it. So it makes it good. And I told Arlene this morning that I'm going to try making it with this. I've never... You know, it doesn't call for this. It calls for baking soda, but I'm going to try it anyway. You just have to add a little water to it to make it, a, a, you know, a little so you can make it pasty, which is fine. I just added water. But you can see it, it, it's okay. It looks just like toothpaste. And, I, and I, when I put the 
lid on it, and I'll, I'll put it in my bathroom and store it, and I'll use this tonight to brush my teeth with it. I'll have to let you know how it was, you know, because I'm getting tired of trying to find a um, fluoride-free toothpaste in the stores. We know fluoride is not good for us, not in the least, and I'm trying to trying to avoid that. It's so hard. Or if you buy a, if you find one that's fluoride-free, it's got a lot of chemicals in it. You know, other chemicals in it. doesn't have the, not only the fluoride, but it's got other things in it that, that you should be putting in your body. And it's like the one guy said on, the, on, the, on YouTube, if you, can't, if you can't pronounce the ingredients, you certainly got to put it in your mouth. And that's the way I feel about the toothpaste. I'm not going to put it in my mouth. If I can't pronounce the ingredient, I know what's in here. What did I make it with? Okay. I used four tablespoons of coconut oil. Four tablespoons of the um, baking soda substitute, which is energy, because you've got to do twice as much of this as, as, as what the recipe calls for baking soda. And peppermint um, essential oil. Peppermint, I put about 10 drops in here and then just mix it around. I had to add a little water to it because it was a little dry, but you can see that it's a nice paste and I'll be able to, to put it on my toothbrush because you want it, you want it of a good consistency. Because so we're not going to eat it. We just want to brush our teeth with it. And as I, as I read something about coconut oil it's very good for plaque it's good for your ca um, cavities it, can, it helps uh, cut down on cavities plaque tartar and also it, it strengthens your enamel in your teeth so if you have teeth that are not very good the enamels get I suggest you make your own toothpaste um, yes fluoride is bad and it's hard to find a toothpaste um, yes that's what I heard um, fluoride toothpaste is very hard you know, it's hard to find anything without fluoride toothpaste. And then when you do find one without fluoride, then it has stuff in it like carrageenan that you shouldn't put in your body or other chemicals that are not good for you. And I don't want to put any of that in my body. I want to put something in my body that I know is good for me. And um, that's why I made this. I want to start making, you know, like I said, I want to make shampoo. I want to make deodorant, you know, maybe dishwashing soap. Although I do have, um, this is seventh generation. This is all natural. I use this for dishwashing soap. And that's what I have for, for my uh, laundry soap as well. This is all natural. It's free and clear. You know, it's non-toxic. And that's what you need. You know, I wish they'd make the deodorants and the toothpaste and stuff like that. But manufacturers don't care. You know, they make the, they make the containers look good. And you know the something? Thing? This is actually zero waste. It's zero waste because... You're not having to worry about squeezing the toothpaste out of the tube. I hate that. Get down to the bottom of the tube, trying to get that last little bit out. And you're rolling the tube up so you can get that last little bit out. And sometimes they say, oh, screw it. I'm just going to throw it away and get me some more. Because I can't get it out of there. It's, it's a struggle to get it. And how they got it in there in the first place, I don't know. But this way I don't have to worry about putting in, <laughs> putting, getting it out of the tube. Just put my toothbrush on it, put it in my mouth. Yeah. Yes, I just, I just made it. I just made it with uh, um, coconut oil, four tablespoons of coconut oil. I used four tablespoons of baking soda substitute and peppermint oil. And then I had to add a little water to it because it was dry. But see, it looks like a, it does look like toothpaste. And the, the smell of the peppermint, I can smell it. It smells really good. You know, <clears throat> this is an essential oil. I saw most of them use this. Some of them use peppermint extract, but I don't recommend that because it's got alcohol in it. But... I also have orange, I have eucalyptus, because Deborah, <coughs> Truly Pure Living, had sent me orange um, essential oil. So I can use that in my toothpaste too. So I have this, and I have eucalyptus and the orange. So I've got three ways. To, let me get some water. <coughs> so I have three different ways that I can make toothpaste. I'm trying this way first, see if I like it this way. And then I might change to eucalyptus the next time but <clears throat> this is the main ingredient is your coconut oil you gotta make sure that you've got good coconut oil organic as you can see it says organic on it that's what makes this vegan and organic and then the peppermint this is fresh. <clears throat> this is fresh from the farm to you so this is all pure and this is all natural and that's that's what you need something that's pure and natural and this like I said this is vegan wheat Gluten, dairy-free, yeast, egg, and soy-free, and nut-free, and sodium-free, and that's very good to have, too. <coughs> it won't go as far because I have to use double the amount, but I know it's going to be okay because I'm not using the baking soda, you know, 
And I'm not about to try this because I don't want to. I don't want to be eating it because you're not supposed to. Let me brush my. I'll blow my nose from there. But we can all do it a little bit better, you know. Try to do what we can to be healthy. And that's why I did this, because I wanted to share this with other people. Because we should all be making, you know, I wish I'd have known this about a long time ago. I know Erlene was making her own peppermint at one time, but the problem was she was using baking soda. And that's before she realized she couldn't use baking soda anymore, so she's been buying her own now. Well, if you have this energy, which well, you can get this off of all of them. Um, Amazon. You could probably get it at Whole Foods, I suppose. By the cost has it too. Just use that in the place of it and you'll be just fine because you're not using the actual baking soda or baking powder. I have the energy on both. And you know, it's too bad that they put aluminum in that. You know, I have never found a, a baking soda or baking powder yet that don't have uh, aluminum in them. You know, they all do. And like I said, your extract, somebody was using peppermint extract in their uh, toothpaste. For making their toothpaste, I thought, well, you're putting alcohol in your body. You might as well not, not call it vegan. They were calling it vegan. And I, I thought, no, that's not vegan, not when it's alcohol. You know, and I looked at it again today. They're all alcohol. They've got peppermint oil and alcohol in it. What's up with that? I mean, why not just put peppermint oil and be done with it? Why do they have to put the alcohol in it? No wonder the vanilla extract tasted so strong. When I first started using it years ago, I wondered why it tasted so strong. Now I know it's because it had the crazy old alcohol in it. And I'm not going to be an alcoholic. You know, I don't want to eat that, you know, put that stuff on, on icing or anything else like that, you know. So that's why I bought some peppermint oil. And it, this is good for, this is aromatherapy. You can use it for, you know, um, putting it on your skin as, as well. And like I said, I'm not going to be eating the toothpaste. I'm just brushing my teeth with it and spitting it out and rinsing my mouth out. But this will help my teeth in the long run. Because I've had problems with my teeth with plaque and... Bad breath, it may even help with that too. Whether I whether it will or not, I don't know. But I'm sure going to give it a try. Because I've, I've had a tendency to have that too. But maybe this will help with all of that. You know, and I just don't keep it in this, this container and put the lid on it. Keep it in the bathroom. And I have my toothpaste right there to use. I just dip my toothbrush in it. For those people just coming in, here is my toothpaste that I made with organic coconut oil. Energy baking soda substitute, and peppermint oil, the essential oil. I just got that today. So, and it's just three ingredients, and then I add a little water to it to make it like paste. Simple to make, not hard at all, and it, it, I know it'll be, it'll be good for my teeth, and I won't have be putting chemicals in my body. Now, the toothpaste I have been using is called Hello. I got it from Walmart, but I, you, it's hard to see all the ingredients. So. Well, you keep it in the, um, I really don't know. I don't know what the shelf life of it is, but beans, I brush my teeth every day. This isn't going to last long anyway. There's not that much in here. It's not going to last that long anyway. I'll just keep the lid on and keep it closed. You know, keep it, and keep it on my sink and keep it closed and then just open it up when I want, want to use it. You know, but because you don't, you don't want to make too much at a time. I just made enough for just a, you know, maybe a few days or whatever, and then I'll make some more again. So, it, because this is something you know you're going to use, so you don't have to worry about spoiling on you. Because you, you're going to use it. You brush your teeth every day. You know, I just brush my teeth once. I probably should br brush them twice. But I'm going to brush them at night before I go to bed. So I'll use this tonight before I go to bed. And I won't have to worry about looking at the ingredients and saying, um, yeah, yeah. And I won't have to look at the ingredients and, and look and say, well, what did I make this out of? I know exactly what it is. Three ingredients. Plus, I added just a little water to make it consistency. That's it. How simple is that? You know, three ingredients. The, the coconut oil is the main ingredient. And this is real, is a good health benefit. Very essential oil. You know, it's, it, I use coconut oil for almost everything. I'd rather use that than I would olive oil or any other oil for that matter. I'd rather use coconut oil because it's so, better, so much better for you. And as you can see, this is organic. And that's what's going to make it good. And this is going to last a long time. Although if I make a lot of... Uh, coconut oil, I'm gonna, or a lot of uh, toothpaste, I'll have to keep buying it. But I do have another can that I just bought the other day, so I've got two can, another can of this sitting there. So, I, so I'll so i have enough for a while. But it, you could, it's readily, this is readily available wherever you shop. Walmart, this is where I bought it from. I bought, bought it at Walmart, but other places carry it too, and it's readily available. Just buy it, the biggest can that you could find, and 
because if you make enough toothpaste or use it enough in your cooking and stuff, you're going to have to have a big enough one to do the job that you need it to do. And that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, hopefully it'll it'll get the job done. It'll make my teeth feel better. Oh, thank you for inviting inviting followers, uh, Erlene. But anybody just coming in, I want you to see the the uh, toothpaste that I'm. Um, not actually, not really. It is. It, it may seem ex expensive at, on the surface, but look how much you look. You'll get a lot of uses out of it. This is a pretty good sized can. This is a one quart, one pipe, plus eight fluid ounces. This is a fifty six fluid ounce can. This is going to last me a long time. It will not go. I will not use it up that fast. And I've got another one the same size. It's organic, so it won't use. And it's like I said, it's readily available. Whenever I need it, I get real, real low, I get down, I'm almost out, then I'll go buy me another can of it. And like I said, I get it at Walmart. You can get it anywhere that, that uh, you buy groceries. Target probably would have it. Walmart's got it, I suppose. Kroger's would have it because early in shops at Kroger's, any, any store that you have in your area. You know, I happen to live in Oregon, and we don't have a, a Kroger's here, but we have an Albertsons. They probably have it too. But it's real simple just to make it with three ingredients, stir it up. You know, and keep, and this is why I made it in here is because this is where I'm going to store it at. Store it in this container so I can close it up and use it every night when I brush my teeth. And I'll be happy to use it tonight when I go to bed and brush my teeth with it. I'll be so anxious and see how it works. You know, they say that the taste of it is probably gross, which you can imagine. Most toothpaste is. You don't, you know, it may say it's minty or something, but the, the taste of it is going to be gross and it's going to be strong. This could probably be a little strong because peppermint oil is strong. But you know something? I really don't care. As long as it does the job and it makes my teeth feel better and it helps the enamel and gets rid of any tartar or any plaque or, or cuts down on cavities, that's all I'm, I'm aiming for because that's what I want. I want to be healthy. I'm getting tired of going out and looking for toothpaste and not finding what I'm looking for. I hate that because I don't want the fluoride. None of us should put fluoride in our, in our mouths anymore. And I found that out a, a while back that fluoride isn't good for us. And I was buying fluoride toothpaste for years. Well, it's not good for you. You don't want to put that fluoride in here, but this doesn't, there's no fluoride in here. It's organic, you know, and everything is vegan and soy free and egg free. And you got a natural peppermint oil. If you want to take a screenshot that this, I bought this at Walmart. Peppermint oil. It's it's uh, from Farm Fresh to you. It says it's uh, pure and natural, and that's all it takes. You know, and simple as as A B C. Now tomorrow, I hope to find uh, a deodorant that I can do. I haven't looked for a deodorant, although I see them on there on YouTube. But I'll look for one I can do with deodorant. Uh, what's in it? Coconut oil. Right, this is a baking soda substitute because we don't use baking soda because it has aluminum in it. Four tablespoons of coconut oil, four tablespoons of this, and about ten drops of the peppermint oil. I mix it together and I had to add a little water because it was on. It wasn't. Uh, it was. It was a dry consistency, so you have to have a little water to it to to make it the paste it looks like now. And that's all you need. And I'm going to post this up on Facebook, and I'm going to post it up on Instagram, and I'm going to put this video up on YouTube, and I will give the ingredients there, what I used. Now, when it comes to the essential oils for your toothpaste, um, where did I get this at? This, you can get off of Amazon, because your actual baking soda has aluminum in it. I got this through baking soda, but ba through Amazon, I got baking powder, the same thing, energy baking powder. Now, what the trick with this is, Whatever your recipe calls for on the baking soda, you have to double it. This has to be doubled. So it called for two, two tablespoons of baking soda. I put four of this in the mixture. And I put about ten drops of this, plus I added a little water to it to make it a, a paste, otherwise it was pr pretty dry. But that's all it takes. And you've got your own, and voila, you've got your own toothpaste. You don't have to worry about going out and buying it. And you keep this on hand. I mean, this is stuff... Oh, you're so welcome. And if you follow me on Facebook, I'll post it up on Facebook. I'll put the recipe, how I made it there. You know, simple as ABC. You don't have to guess what's in it. You know what's in it. It doesn't have chemicals in it. Because everything, this is vegan, soy-free, dairy-free, egg-free, sodium-free, and gluten-free. Everything, it doesn't have any of that in it. And it looks just like 
and I'll open it up. It looks just like baking soda, only it's a substitute, as you can see. It looks just like it, but it's just a substitute. Don't ask me how they made it. I don't really know, but, but you get that off of Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, you can get it off of there. Uh, probably, maybe Whole Foods and Trader Joe's might have it too. I don't know. But that's where I happen to get it. And when I run out, or before I run out, I'm going to get some more. But I've, since I've been making enough toothpaste, I probably better buy some more and keep it on hand. But here you can see what the toothpaste looks like. Um, this is the container I'm going to store it in on with the lid. And all I have to do is dip my toothbrush into it, wet my toothbrush, dip it in here, and brush my teeth with it. And I don't have to worry about chemicals going into my system because fluoride is not good for you and your, your aluminum that the baking soda has in it is not good for you either. Um, oh, you do. I've heard that. I heard that you can do that. I'm not sure how to do that, but I'm just putting quick, quick coconut oil on the toothpaste. I figure this will, this will help right here. They, they don't, I've, I've seen things on Google that they don't recommend you doing that coconut pull, but you know, that, you know, they're going to tell you that kind of stuff anyway, you know, that's what they're going to do, but whatever you decide to do, if it, if it helps you, go ahead and do it. You know, I don't know if I have to do that, but I'm just going to make the toothpaste as I need it. Make, don't make very much, like I said, this isn't going to last too awful long, and then I'll be making it again. I won't be scoping it, however, I only need to scope it once, but I'll make it again because I know how I made it this time. Make it the same way again. And I might use, use um, I've got some eucalyptus oil as well that I might try the next time. I bought this at Walmart too, this eucalyptus oil. Um, and it's about the same price as the peppermint oil. About $5.98 for uh, this container. And I don't know how much it is. Um, let's see. The bottle. It's just a very small bottle. Oh, it's five fluid ounces is all it is. So that's exactly, and then they, and then they also have, I also have orange essential oil that I received from one of my periscopers for uh, giving her hearts in her scope. So I've got an orange essential oil. So I've got that too. So I can change it up if I want to. Find out which one I like the best and, and do it that way. But I make it the same every time. You know, just use the same coconut oil and, and this energy and then add whatever essential oil. In fact, they said... If you want to put more than one essential oil in your toothpaste, you can do that. I don't recommend it, though. I'm only going to, I'm just going to use one at a time, but you can use more than one if you want to. The, you know, they, this calls for peppermint oil, but when I put the uh, recipe down, I'm going to say you could use any essential oil that you choose. There are very many good essential oils out there. Lavender, eucalyptus, the peppermint oil. I think there's also lemon. There's orange. Now, they didn't have lemon there at Walmart, but they did have eucalyptus. They had grapefruit. They had this peppermint. And they also had um, uh, deodorant that uh, with it too, but I didn't buy that because I want to make my own. But as you can see, it's a good consistency. Um, that's right, no animal byproducts. Exactly. There's no animal in here. No animal in here, and no animal in here. It's all, it's all pure and natural. That's exactly what it means, because it's organic coconut oil. And this doesn't have any vegan, it's vegan, it doesn't have any soy, um, any any of your dairy, any eggs, any milk, or anything like that. In it. it doesn't have any salt either, it's sodium free. But and Because your baking soda, they say, is quite salty. Well, this won't be salty because I'm, I, it, there is, I've used it in, in my other recipes before. It doesn't have any salt to it at all, you know, which is better. This is better for you, it's healthier because this doesn't have the aluminum in it. You don't want to buy baking soda or baking powder with the aluminum in it. If I could find some without the aluminum, I would buy it. But I don't know if, it's, if it exists or not. I'm probably have to do my research on it. But this is a good substitute. It works just as well. And that's what I recommend if you can find it. Um, so I think I'm going to go for now because I'm, I'm losing people left and right. But I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Have a blessed day. And bye-bye. Love you all. Bye-bye.